This is a political video from the DeSantis War Room campaign that experts say includes deep fake images showing former President Donald Trump hugging his former chief medical advisor, Dr. Anthony Fauci. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis is running against Trump in the race for the U.S. Republican presidential nomination. The images were examined by the misinformation debunking show Verify, which used a reverse image search to determine that three of the images are fake. If you look more closely at the pictures, you can see more evidence they're AI generated. This one shows the two men standing in front of the White House decal in the press briefing room. But the decal, instead of saying White House, it says MeFap. AI often has trouble generating accurate text. In this one, Trump's hand is missing a thumb. With the power of generative AI growing, so too will these types of fake images meant to sway voters, says Lisa Gilbert of the nonprofit consumer advocacy organization Public Citizen. One of the things that artificial intelligence is able to do, uh, particularly generative AI, uh, is create easily deep fakes. So, you know, video or audio uh, that looks incredibly real, you know, impossible to discern with the naked eye from a real video. So the Public Citizen Group asked the U.S. Federal Election Commission to establish rules for campaign ads that use computer-generated fake images, as they could misrepresent a candidate's political views, which is already illegal. On June 22nd, the commission that enforces U.S. election rules voted to take no action. Commissioner Alan Dickerson, who was appointed by former President Donald Trump, told the meeting that they have no jurisdiction over the matter. Congress has given us very sharply limited authority. Our jurisdiction on this point is limited to instances where a campaign fraudulently misrepresents itself as acting, quote, on behalf of any other candidate. Or coming to us, it should take this up with Congress. Public Citizen called the inaction, quote, a shocking failure even for a notoriously feckless agency. Gilbert says political engineering is at a turning point with generative AI. It's kind of like the moment the internet was invented, we're about to see a sea change. And imagine if that, when the internet was invented, we knew what we know now about its impacts and we've been able to create appropriate guardrails to protect people, then that's the moment we're in. There's currently a bill in Congress that would require political advertising to announce if generative AI was used to create any of its images or video. Dina Mitchell for VOA News.